Hello and welcome back to my channel. My most recent videos have mostly been about my hemorrhagic stroke in March 2021. I think now though I'm going to go back to the beginning with a few jumps here and there in time. Well, not the beginning, but in 2014, I had a much smaller ischemic stroke that messed with my cognitive function and gave me aphasia that makes it hard for me to communicate. I've mostly recovered from that aphasia, but it still crops up from time to time. And all of these problems are because I've been a diabetic for so long. In 1971, I was born in a hospital in a small town in central Illinois. Since then, I've lived in a series of small farm towns in Illinois, except for after college when I moved to Chicago and became a full-on Chicago and living downtown, a full city boy. Anyway, then I met my wife, Anna, and we ended up moving to Cincinnati, and then from there to Virginia, and then now to Indiana. In all that time, I've had a lot of different jobs, all of them technical in nature because I seem to have an ability to pick up technical skills. So when I was eight years old, my parents got divorced and I ended up going to summer camp several summers in a row because they didn't want me around while they were fighting over details. After that last summer camp, I came home to find that my mom was living with a new boyfriend in the last house I remember being in. Later that year, I was riding my bicycle f back home from the neighbor's farm when a pickup truck with big white trailer mirrors sped past me going about 55 and his mirror hit me in the back of the head and flew me over the handlebars of my bike. I was in the hospital for about a week after that. That was when I was around 10 years old. And then we moved in with my mom's latest boyfriend in Dixon, Illinois, which was the hometown of then President Ronald Reagan. So of course the town was a dump for the most part. While we were living there, my older brother and I started playing Dungeons and Dragons as you do when you're 11 to 12 years old. In around 1983, not long after the music video for Michael Jackson's Thriller was on 
network television. I became a diabetic. I was in the hospital for a couple of weeks while we figured out how much insulin I needed. And then, as a gift meant to bring me happier, after the hospital say, my mom bought me an Atari 2600, which was very fun for someone my age. A lot of my life events, I know when they happened based on the music that was playing on the radio or on Friday night videos at the time. Right after I became diabetic, my favorite band was Def Leppard. In that time frame is when their album called Pyromania came out. 